Today I'm back in London and I'm going to God's Own Junkyard. I know a bit about it, not too much, but we'll see how this goes. So this village is really weird, it's kind of just outside of London, but a proper villagey village. Weird. And after a bit more walking, we were there. So now we are at God's Own Junkyard, it is just around the corner over there. And it's supposed to be one of the most unique places in London. We found it on a website called Atlas Obscura. So we're going to go check it out, see what it's got. It's supposed to be like lots of bright lights, the most lit place in London. Now, I could have shot B-roll in this place all day. It was an absolute heaven to shoot video in. Like, everything was amazing, looked incredible, the lighting was amazing, everything. Like, you could not take a bad photo in there, you could not get a bad video in there. Surprisingly, the main attraction isn't actually the vintage signs. It's actually a cafe and a bar. So you can buy some food in the day or you can go there and have a few drinks if you want to. I think it'd be a great place to go on a date or out with your mates. Unfortunately, we only did have an hour to film. I will explain more about that at the end of the video. But back to Joe in God's Junkyard. We made it here. We're at God's own junkyard. And first impressions, wow. Well, yeah. It's quite bright. We've filmed a bit now, it's really a nice place. Like, I've never been anywhere with so many lights, never been anywhere so bright. It's also the largest stock of vintage neon signs in Europe. Definitely worthy of one of the most unique places in London, but it is actually a cafe and a bar, so we're going to get a little bit of a drink and a coffee. Now you might have noticed that these signs are very random, they're from everywhere and anywhere. But originally it was started by the late owner Chris Bracey, he was dubbed the Neon Man and he started making signs for Soho's strip clubs. He said his dream was to bring Vegas to Soho. That's why some of the signs are quite out there and a bit racy. There is a great interview that I'll link below about Chris Bracey and I think you should watch it if you want to find out a bit more about this place. But as the warehouse got bigger, there were more signs, there started to be a lot more random stuff, not just neon signs. Like you can see this pelican here and it's just just a maze of like random stuff. Oh, careful mate. And I love going to places like this that are just completely out of there, completely different, unique. It was really a great day out. And in a city as expensive as London, this is a really good free thing to do. All we need to pay for is the tube or however you're going to get there. But once you get there, it's completely free. You can buy a drink if you want to, but you don't have to. You can just look around at the signs and go. Free day out. I think it's a must visit for people in London. Make the effort, go there, because it is really, truly a unique place. As I said before, the biggest store of vintage neon signs in Europe. But one thing to remember is, if you want to go there and shoot on your DSLR, you have to make sure you email before. They're very strict on people using DSLRs. You can use your mobile phone to film, but if you take a DSLR and you don't email before and ask them if it's okay if you film, they won't let you at all. I was lucky enough to find this out before I went, so I did it and I was able to get this amazing footage. It's all because they charge people to hire out the whole premises if they want to shoot a music video there or something like a commercial shoot. So I totally understand why they do it. But I had to sign paperwork and everything. It was definitely worth it. 